Hi, and welcome to WWE Girl Talk. I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And this is our review of Hair on the Cell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we start anything, we've got to explain what we've done. Like last time, we had a bet. We have bet on every single match. And we're going to tally it up. Whoever gets the least... Uh, Prediction yeah, right. Yeah, predictions right. Has to then do the next uh, video as uh, Stardust. Well, with the face paint of Stardust. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as we go through the matches, just gonna let you know what we've picked. Yeah, yeah. And we've got a predictions video. So if you want to look back yeah, at so that, watch do that. have a look. Um, we've got some great reviews on it. Apparently, really funny. So oh really? Yeah. You do. Someone commented on it, going, "You girls are really funny." It's good. It's good. I've been working. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the first match uh, was the Intercontinental Championship match. Uh, Cesaro vs Dolph Ziggler, two out of three falls. Uh, I want Cesaro to win. Oh, what a dog. Did we want that or did we flip for it? Some of them we flipped coins for, so we had different answers. I think we flipped for this one. Yeah. Uh, the coin was unlucky for me. <laughs> uh, Dolph's a good one. Me. So Dolph picked up two of the pins out of the three falls, which I was, wasn't very happy about, but... Yeah, it's a bit different to what they normally do, because they normally do one one. I um, think it just makes Cesaro look weak, especially since does, seen yeah. as he couldn't get the US Championship. Now he's done this, but he like, lost a lot, but bad, quite badly. <laughs> he didn't even get one pinfall. Yeah. But it was a really good match. It was a good bit. I like, I like the bit where they properly like, went over. Uh, he suplexed yeah. Dolph Ziggler off the top rope. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> oh, what, the moves? Yeah. He's still got a good memory, I can remember yeah. it. I know Running Bulldog. <laughs> we say that a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, so that was really good. Um, Dolph did his finisher. What was it called? Dolph's finisher. I don't know. Uh, Dolph did his finisher and didn't get the pin, which was kind of like... Well, I thought it was expected, but the yeah. crowd were like, oh my God. Like, this is awesome. Yeah. The match was that was quite good. I yeah. don't think it should have been a first match. No, especially because they need to push Dolph a lot more. He's had so many good matches lately. And it did kind of show Cesaro that he can be good. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a good opener, because if you have a Divas match, for example, at the beginning, it's like, flat <laughs> all the that. way through. Yeah, so... Oh, that'd be funny. I suppose we got the crowd a bit excited for the rest of yeah. the show. Yeah, then we still got to sit through Russo for Big Show. Ugh, I know. So, we had Nikki Bella versus Brie Bella. And whoever won was each other's assistant. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, we both thought Nikki was going to win. But then we had to flip a coin. I got Brie. I got Nikki. And Nikki won. <laughs> um, yeah, it was actually quite a good match. Yeah. Um, longer than normal Divas matches, but it weren't boring. Like, we weren't sitting there like, oh, <coughs> bless you. Okay. And I hate to admit that the, the Bellas did a good job. Yeah, they did too. But they did. Clearly they wrestled together, and uh, it shows, because there there was some good little bits that they haven't done with other Divas. I don't yeah. know whether they've been so bad, because other Divas... Have been uh, shit. Yeah. Well, they've just improved. Yeah, I think I think they're out to prove themselves, which is good. But um, they Nikki kept ruining it by the like, oh my god, why won't you give in? Yeah. That ruins it. So I've dramatic. Yeah. Like yeah. Both were all, it. it was better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. But then if it was bad, I'd be very questioning the. Yeah. It's like why they pushed them, but I think they're pushing because they said they'll push themselves. So. I have to wait and see, but I am fed up with the feud. Yeah, but at the moment, Paige, yeah. AJ Lee, and those two are the main divas, aren't they? Yeah, and to be honest, I kind of prefer the Bellas at the moment. I know. It's really Who bad. thought we'd ever say that? It's really bad. <laughs> I don't like it. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Next match was the Tag Team Championship match. It was Girls and Stars against the Usos. As you do, same now, as every week. <laughs> this wasn't a coin flip one, this was a genuine what's it? Yeah. So, prediction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said I said Golden Stardust. And I said the Usos. Um, reasons are in the prediction yeah. video, so go watch that. And I won, yay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes. Um The match I thought was a bit flat. Oh yeah, but I think that oh god my head. Uh, <laughs> I think that might be because where we've seen it so many times. Yeah. Um, we've seen that match a hundred times and they weren't the Usos weren't as in sync you know they the suplex off the top yeah it uh it went 
Yeah. And they tried the things they tried so hard to be in sync because one of them was like on the top rope, the other one was still climbing up yeah. and they were waiting. And it was just like, oh, you still weren't in sync though. Yeah. <laughs> it, I think it might have been maybe Goldust the Stardust fault, maybe. I don't know. No, I don't know. Either way. Better planning in future. Yeah, please. Guys, come on, please. Pick it up. But um, I was glad Goldust the Stardust won it. Yeah. But I hope they change direction. Yeah, that, that storyline's got old. I mean, get Erica Luke in. Bray Wyatt's come back. Oh, but they're so boring. I know, but we haven't got anything else. That's all we've got. No. Bring up the NXT guys. They're bringing up some divas, so but why not some tag teams? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that'd be good. Please. It's like no, because we've had that for like two months now, at least. Mm. Let's get rid of it. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to work now, <laughs> so my makeup may be different. <laughs> In the next video. You know how we love continuity, darling? Yeah, but I'll be wearing the same dress. And we had uh, John Cena versus Randy Orton. Eh. It was. So Coral chose, chose Randy. Yeah, I chose Randy Orton. I chose John Cena. And John Cena won. <sighs> Randy Orton should have won that. Yeah, I'm so angry. Like, you don't even understand. Like, seriously, what is WWE thinking? Like, why? Oh, it's just so predictable. And it's the same thing over and over again. People aren't going to keep watching that. Yeah, John Cena makes them a lot of money, but they make, he makes them a lot of money through kids that don't really watch it. So it doesn't really matter. He's still going to sell to kids. And it's just, it's silly. It's like, everyone that actually watches it properly is bored. Yeah, it's just so predictable. Like, what was the point of that match? You might as well just give him the, the number yeah. of the tender spot. It's like, I saw it coming from mile off. Yeah, because that's me. That's why, because... Also, why on earth would you set up Randy Orton and Seth Rollins then? Seth Rollins has the money in the bank. All it takes is Randy Orton to win that match, go against Brock Lesnar, win against Brock Lesnar, and then Seth Rollins cashes it in and wins. You know what I mean? Because at the moment, there's not even a reason for Seth Rollins to even have that briefcase. Case, yeah. At all. It is pointless. And they set it up and nothing. Why do you have that? Why would we have that set up? Because now it's pointless. pointless. Absolutely ridiculous. Not only that, that was a piss poor match. It wasn't that good. No. It, it was quite boring. We were just talking yeah. most of the time. Considering this is supposed to be the 10 year feud that we barely even knew about. Yeah. <laughs> it is that rubbish. Like, oh, I can't, like, I'm so angry I can't even get my words out. Like, you know what I mean? You know, you're yeah. so angry. You've got 101 things to say. You just can't say it. It is like, like, we're a bit behind. Like, we're about a week behind Hell in a Cell. We are a week behind today, aren't yeah. we? Right, it was out a week ago today. We found out Monday morning, and I ranted at Ashley yeah, the text. Yeah, she did. Like, it is ridiculous. Terrible. Terrible decision, really. Yeah, why would you go back? There was no point in that, and I'm glad that it wasn't the end match. I'm glad it was dead in the middle. Yeah, same. Um, But it was, it was so weak. And they had all these tables. Yeah, they got thrown into a few. That was it. You can tell they're getting old. Yeah, they're getting very, yeah, very tired, weren't they? Yeah. Very tired. Yeah, extremely tired. The last thing that pinned Randy Orton was good. Yeah, so um, Johnson did that actually adjustment off of the top rope onto the table. Uh, which we might get taken down if her back <laughs> Which uh, ended up being the last count. So yeah. that's how Johnson had won, but... Oh, Randy Orton was dominating that match a whole way through, the way. and then d just that move, and that was it. And it was, it was just poor. It was, oh, uh, it was. Like, why do we want to see John Cena go against Brock Lesnar again? No, yeah, we've seen it like three times now. Haven't yeah. we? Not only that, Brock Lesnar is only going to turn up like three, four times a year. Yeah. Why do we want to see him go against the same person he went against last time? Yeah. Because that's the only person he's going to go against for the next two, three years. Every time he turns up, we're going to see him with John Cena. I don't care. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see anything like that. I no. want him to go against someone else. I don't particularly like Brock Lesnar. I think he's quite rubbish. But I also feel the same about John Cena. I don't really like him either. I don't want to see that match. I want someone else to go against Brock Lesnar. I want someone I like to go against Brock Lesnar or someone different. Because it is making me angry and it's making me want to switch off. Because all well, the thing is, we're watching the same matches every week. Uso's against Stardust. We've had two pay-per-views of that now. Yeah. We've not even, like, a... Like a... It's not a proper storyline, either. Well, no, it's like, there's no, like, 
it's not a stipulation, what's the word? Like a match type, but yeah, it's, it's just the same old tag team. There's no like, oh, let's put you in the cage or let's like have a street fight or yeah. something. It's nothing, it's just all it's, bland. It will bring you out again once every few weeks. There's it's a like, part of yeah. uh, It's like uh, Rusev versus Big Show. We're getting nothing from it because the same person is winning. There is something wrong here, and whoever is in charge needs to get a big friggin' slap. Yeah. Like, seriously. I think the problem is they just haven't got the staff these days. No, they really <laughs> haven't. They get us right in it. Because it's getting to the point where people are going to switch off, and they're wondering why they're losing money. But they're either going to have to start cutting even bigger wrestlers, or, they're gonna, or we're just going to be stuck with John Cena and Randy Orton every week for an hour and a half of wrestling. But... The thing is, John Cena's making them win, like, get so much money, but at the same time, he's actually making them lose a lot of money. Yeah. Because that's why people are turning off, because it's just John Cena all the time. It's the John Cena show. Yeah. But not only that, thing is, yeah, he it's the merchandise of his that makes him a lot of money. It's the TV appearances that make them a lot of money. It's all that. But the people that want to see him are the people that don't consistently watch wrestling. They're the people that turn on and off, the people... Because he is the face of WWE, everyone knows him. The children that watch WWE every now and then when mum and dad says it's okay that's 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 the rest that they know that's the merchandise that they're buying because that's all they know it doesn't matter he's still going to make money regardless of who he's wrestling or what he's winning he needs to be here I'm sorry it just needs yeah. to happen and I know that I read an article saying that that's not what he wants he don't think it's right for the company but he's only saying that because I think if he was here he wouldn't be able to go for the title and be on top but he's like we're bored of seeing you doing what you're doing Yeah, just do something for a change but can he not like I know this is like the main title but can he not go for a different title it's still a title I don't I, I don't understand why it has to be that one can we not just stick him with, with someone and let him go for a tag team yeah. for a while that might have been a bit, bit yeah let, let him go with I don't know someone from the NXT I think some may a bit more high profile yeah probably stick him with Ryback no one likes Ryback either so <laughs> When he comes back. Stick him with Brock Lesnar. Then they're both yeah. Then. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. We just because not only that, we're losing Randy Orton soon. I know. To a film, so he's gonna be gone for a few weeks. Sad. Bro. Do you think that? Oh, maybe that's, that's probably why he did it. Yeah. yeah. That'd be stupid. But saying that, um, Dean Ambrose went out for long. Yeah, it's true. They've gone for a couple of months. Not, not a even month. A week. Not even a month. Is it not even a month? Oh. I think he was. Was he, he was... he come back after Night No, he came back on Night Champions. Yeah, Night Champions. So it was about a month. Yeah, yeah he, was gone, he was gone... With... After, it was the Raw after... after Sam. Yeah. So a month, yeah. Yeah. So he was gone a month. So... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing anymore. I just can't deal. 